Hi guys, it's Dawn Mendonza here from Dance Mode UK and this is the Dance Teacher Training course but this is the exam now. So if you remember in the last video we had um, some girls doing the course training to become um, associate qualified in freestyle dance to get their teachers qualification. Well today is exam day. We've had a few girls take their exam this morning. We've got someone in the exam room right now and we also have uh, two out here. Debbie's about to go in. And always a really tick her exam, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So let's see how you guys are doing. First of all, how has it been like since the last time you were together and like until today? Like all of the revision. Has it been okay? Has it have you done it? The revision <gasps> I did do, didn't we? Well, did we did do all the revision, didn't yeah. we? I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I left a little bit to the last minute to my portfolio a little bit, but um, here we are today. I feel that I know everything. I'm still a bit nervous though, because I'm worried that I'm going to forget everything when I go in. Um, just been running over my warm up, but I'm sure it'll be fine when I'm in there. But I am a little bit nervous, I have to say. But everyone's saying it's really nice, so that's what I heard. So yeah, definitely, she's really nice. I was really nervous before I went in, but the minute I got in there, she was just so friendly and nice and put me at ease. So it was really good. Yeah, it was just like a chat, really. Just to find out what, what I knew, and yeah, it was great. It's all done. Yeah, so it's a big relief. Yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah, so even you, Debbie, you know, when you finish the exam today, that's mm. it. That's it. Christmas. That's it. It's all yeah. about Christmas is coming up. Christmas presents. And so what are you guys planning to do, like, once you get this qualification? Um, well, a friend of mine's just bought a dance school in Bromley, so I'm going to be working, um, teaching dance with her. We're going to set up our own company within um, within the dance school, teaching children, um, music and movement. So, yeah, that's the plan. Um, and I'm looking to teach children and adults, um, and also sort of teach one-on-one -on -one as well, maybe at hen parties or at weddings, and um, yeah, just sort of set up my own sort of small dance lessons and try and build it up if I can. Great, and do you think, um, like, tell us truthfully as well, right? <laughs> like, do you really think everything you've learned on the course is really going to help you and fulfil you into achieving what you want to achieve? Yeah, I think. Yeah, definitely, definitely, because there's a lot of information that you kind of like taking about the anatomy, the physiology. It's really important information that you need to know. Um, and all about the warm up, the cool down, how to conduct a class, health and safety. There's a lot. It's not just like hiring a studio, it's so true. Like you think, oh yeah, I'll be a dance teacher, hire a studio. It's not like that. I think there's so many other, um, so much more information that Dance Mode have given us and the IDTA that you kind of th you don't think about, but then it does make sense. Yeah. If you know what I mean? <laughs> you definitely need it, and I think these days you do need, you know, they're hot on qualifications and CRB checks and things like that. And because, like, the IDTA are a governing body, um, and it's great that you can do kind of qualifications and put your children through qualifications, and hopefully, all, yeah. So what made you do the, um, like, wanting to get qualified the intense way? Like, why did you want to do an intense course rather than, you know, because it is, like, when I, when you, we first walked in today, both of you were really, like, under a lot of pressure, you know? Um, but obviously since, obviously now since you've done the exam, I can see a massive change yes. in you, <laughs> like, big yeah. relief. And yeah. Deb, Deb's is, well, she's still a bit... Nervous. I'm still a bit, like, bit nervous, but I wouldn't say probably is, you're a bit more... I don't know, yeah. the pressure's come off a little bit, but, yeah. you know, it has been an intense um, course, so... Yeah, the, the course itself was intense, but I just think you'd still be this nervous. Whatever. In, in, however you'd learnt it. Mm. You'd still, yeah. Before you get, went into the exam, you'd still be a little bit nervous. Yeah. But um, it, you, do, you do have to put your head down. It is only a short amount of time. You do have to put your head down, but then... Mm. It's, it's worth yeah, it. Yeah, it's definitely, well, hopefully it's going to be worth it at the end of, the, end of it. So let's see... And I think um, it's doable. Okay, great. Let's. Is this your? Let's see. Is this your portfolio here? Yes. Woohoo! So this is a book. We've got. Oh my gosh! Look at all this work. Look at all this work. <laughs> so this is just an example of what number one you'll be learning on a course if you choose to come into our course in February, and also what you'll be required to also type up before you take your exam. And obviously, we go through absolutely everything. Um, in just two days, so you can see how intense this course really is. Oh my gosh, these pages are going on and on, Deborah. 
<laughs> this is loads in hair portfolio, mode. which is awesome, which is absolutely great. Yeah. So um, I want to say thank you as well for Thanks coming so on to the course. And um, please keep in touch with us as well. And um, Deb, I think I'll have the camera on when you come back out the okay. exam so we can hear the before and after with you. Okay. Um, and just lastly, before I just cut this, um, if someone's looking at this video right now and they're really thinking oh they don't know they should do this course like maybe a lot of people are worried because um maybe they feel uh, their dance ability is not they feel that the other people which come on to the course could be really good dancers and they could feel a bit embarrassed you know i get a lot of, lot of this all the time um what would you say to them like if they're thinking of coming onto the course they want to get qualified but there could be something like that holding them back or you know, what what would you say to anyone who's looking to come onto a course, watching this video right now and in two minds sitting on a fence? Um, well, I'd say just to give you, you or Suzanne a ring, really. Just um, go through any concerns that you've got. Because, you you know, you can just ring you at any time. You're very approachable. And, they, and you'd be quite honest um, whether you thought somebody would be, um, be able to do it, would be able to handle it or... Yeah, I think that would be the, the best thing to do. If you were in two minds, then, then give you a ring. Yeah. And maybe like go to a couple of dance lessons before you actually come on the course to get you in the kind of rhythm. Mm. Maybe do a month before. Because this course, know, this course is definitely yeah. not for... Yeah. What, the, who is know, this course but, not for? Absolute beginners. Yeah, yeah you have to have uh, People with two left feet? <laughs> uh, no. Uh, uh, <laughs> with no rhythm, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I yeah. would say this course is definitely not for it's not for people which don't know how to dance already. This course is not designed to teach you how to dance, right? No, no, no. You need to have a basic understanding, obviously, of, of dance. Yeah. Um, what else do they need to have? Um, at least experience in dancing, I'd say. Yeah. Sort of whether they're performing or I don't know, or they work as a dancer, possibly in a nightclub, depends how strong they are. But they definitely need to have had some kind of dance training yeah. background. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you so Thank much, guys. Thank you. And Deb, we'll be seeing you in a minute. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Katie have just come out of her exam. She's just finished. She's just about to go home, but. I just thought I'd grab the camera quickly to uh, <laughs> just capture, you know, how, what was it like for you? Okay, so before um, I went in there, I was really nervous. I was thinking I didn't know anything, um, but obviously I did. You really have to revise hard and you have to know your stuff. But when you get here, all of that sort of goes, oh, and you forget it. But when you go in there, the examiner is lovely. You do remember it all. Um, it's a, such a relaxed environment and definitely worthwhile doing if you, you can do it you do the weekend and you do the four weeks revising you do your exam and it is seriously amazing and i've i've enjoyed my exam can you believe that yay, yay! thank you Katie. <laughs> no worries <laughs> okay so it's nearly it is the end of the day now examinations are pretty much done and yeah. um, deborah's just finished her exam so how did it go it went better than i thought um, everything that I'd stored up here, um, I remembered. And the examiner was really, really nice. It was a really good exam. Um, I re if you're going to, I mean, it's a really good course to do. And, you know, the exam, it, it's absolutely, it's, if you revise, work hard, you can pass the exam. Um, I really kind of actually enjoyed the exam in the end. I was really nervous in the beginning when my dance routine's a bit stiff, but uh, the examiner helped me to warm up a little bit. And um, it was fine. Um, yeah, all good. Okay, so if you are now ready to take your exam, okay, you're ready to become a qualified dance teacher for 2011, just scroll down, scroll down a little bit more on this page and you'll see all the details for the next course coming up in February 14th, 15th. So, um, yeah, give us a call. If you've got any questions, see you later. Bye.